Hello and welcome back to another episode of How To Total War Warhammer 2 Empire. Uh, or how not to, probably in the end. Who knows how this will end up. I say how to, but we'll stay in. We'll, we'll continue to hope it stays as a how to video and how not to fucking die horribly. Anyway, so we've gone through the last end turn. Nothing much really happened there. Uh, the guys that uh, declared war on us before, or made us declare war on them, they decided they attempted to take Grunberg, but we've got two armies lying in wait there. They did discover our ambush, so that didn't work out. So that's fine. But we did get a this, whatever this is. Uh, so this will either give us a plus five to leadership um, or a recruiting surplus, which means it will lower our recruitment costs. Uh, I think we've pretty much got all the army we need for now. We don't really need higher leadership, but we may as well take that anyway. Uh, we've got some Brayherds kicking around somewhere. I suppose I should look at where they are. Oh, that's all right. We're already heading that direction anyway. Because we're at war with these guys. <clears throat> now, the plan is, hopefully, take Nuln, and then they might want to peace out. Uh, but I don't know if I really want to peace out. So, we'll have a look. Now, our situation for uh, artillery isn't the best. I would prefer better artillery, but it's... Not going to happen at the moment because I don't think I can make it. I need another lot more money. And while our economy is clearly not in bad shape because I can actually sustain almost three stacks um, in forces, uh, it's still we're still not in an ideal position. Uh, oh, that's right. We had to upgrade Uber Streak in the end, didn't we? That's all right. Uh, we'll. Put him in ambush there, and hopefully the blue balls up there will come down and play with us. For now, though, what we want to do is try and showcase what a siege is like. So, first thing we'll do is we'll make room in here for a mage. Get rid of one of our swordsmen. Because we want him. I command here. Now what we do is we send Carl Franz to attack Nuln. Now you see you got we've got our red circle out there. So once we hit here, explain what all this is. So firstly, we've got Nuln, we've got our balance of power, which is not in our favour. So quite in their favour. They've got more artillery than us, but that's not really going to be a problem. Uh... Uh, we've actually got more shooting than them. That's got better range, but again, that's not going to be a problem either. This will all be explained soon because we've got a second army to come in, so we'll end up outnumbering them. But balance of power still works in our favour. Uh, you can see here we can. Uh, that's when the supplies run out and they start starving. Once they start starving, they they stop they they start losing health, power, and you get to that point there will pretty much be no one left and they'll surrender. We're not bothering with that. Um, that's our labour force. That's what our labour force is available to per turn. I think that changes how long it takes to recruit these. Yeah it would do. Yeah, yeah. So that's why that's two for example. But anyway this is Siege Tower. So using this if you, you put it you can put it, uh, a single unit in it Roll it up with the walls, jump out, of the, jump out of the siege tower, and start bashing people. Your uh, battering ram here is—it's a battering ram. You put it with a unit. They run it up to the door, knock on the door a few times. Door falls over, and you can come wandering in to get killed. I don't bother with any of that stuff. Couldn't be stuff. Couldn't be bothered with it. It's a waste of time. I've got artillery, which are siege attackers, which means I don't have to have these. I can just go in and fight the battle. But we're not going to fight it yet. We'll continue the siege for the moment. Because we're going to bring our friend, who has another five crossbowmen and lots and lots of infantry. He's going to come up as well. Get him in that zone of control. That nice that red circle that appears is your zone of control. Within that zone of control, that means if we pick uh, Carl Franz here, You'll see there's a little yellow line there that connects him to what we're attacking. 
that little bit yellow, little yellow line means he's going to reinforce. So that means I've got now got two armies against his one army. Uh, yep. So that's basically what we want to, how we want to start this off. Raise your weapons. Yeah. Men, so you can see here the balance of power is actually still in their favour, but. Again, I'm, I'm just not worried about it. There's no point worrying about it, because we're going to use the AI against itself. Uh, but all the same, I'm going to run a quick save, because who knows if I'm going to bollocks this up. Not that I'm even going to load it if I fail. Ah, whatever. The quick save there option is, is pretty good, so you can decide whether or not to do the battle. And you can, that's why you can see if you fuck it up. Load it and go, oh, I totally, totally didn't do it that way. La, 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 la. Oh, good. Uh, so this is actually even better for us. So, as you can see, we've got our map here. So that's their walls, and that's their deployment zone. My deployment zone's here. There's towers all along those walls. Uh, we've got 30 winds of magic to start with. That's good. So with this... Um, just to go over this as well, you've got power reserve, which is power you can't use right now, but it will load up. We, and we've got a starting power of 30. So you can gamble, um, and then that, that amount of power you start with changes. But since we've got 30, we're not going to gamble. We shall just start the deployment. Now, as you can see, we've got four towers along here and four towers along here. This is not the blind spot that it kind of looks to be. There's actually a little thing, so it overlaps a bit here. We don't have to worry too much. Okay, so our reinforcements are coming in directly behind us here, which is kind of perfect. So what we will do is we are going to set up our army so that only this tower here can shoot at us. Also, one thing to note is when they do their deployment, they'll probably put a unit roughly here. That unit will be what controls the tower. So any towers that don't have a unit with them, you can see how it's grey at the moment, will be grey. Uh, any that can fire will be red. So, But here's what we do to minimise this. We basically go, yep, we're willing to take damage from this particular corner, so we'll pile our units all over each other right here. And that seems like a silly thing to do, because that means all of our units are standing all in one bunch and they can just blow the crap out of us. Well, they're actually all hidden in this case. But even if they weren't, it's still fine. Up front here, we will put our mortars. Now, the only problem here is the mortars are probably only barely going to be able to destroy one tower, maybe two. To me, man. Only a slight problem. Uh, now, what we also do is we put Carl Sigma right there. Right where he can be shot at by the ta tower. Because the tower will shoot at him, because he's the closest and most dangerous target to them. While we're here, we'll also turn off fire at will, because they will target troops, and not what I want them to target. And that, with that, let's start the battle. Mortars, we will target the tower. And that will start up that. Uh, reinforcements are coming in and one thing we need to keep an eye on as well is because they actually have quite a bit of artillery in here as well and you can see they have a little zone where they can shoot as well so if we go say onto them you should show it up if I can bloody get it up my mouse over it so no come on it's hard to see them might be facing a different way or something because they're moving around. Yeah, see, it's facing kind of over there at the moment. And that's that gives them that zone of arcing fire like we have here. Now, we don't want these guys just marching in to do that and activating all of the towers. We will march them all over here as well so that all also in this one little zone... Let's get them all doing that. They're taking a few losses from tower hits at the moment, but that'll happen. Uh, let's get their general out the front of them to try and tank that a bit. OK. 
Okay, that tower is firing. Oh, that second tower might be firing as well. Let's actually just put him there for the moment. But you can see how the two towers actually have like an overlapping zone of control there. Oh, we just want to make sure this works out in our favour and not theirs, that's all. Now, if you artillery hits in there, would have an absolute field day. That would be thousands killed very easily. Uh, very soon they'll have no tower here and nothing to. Sh That's an order. Uh, let's see. So this tower can. Oh yeah, it's it's shooting some of the troops there. We might have to see if we can move them a bit further over. Maybe. The Empire endures. Now, so far, it's not that exciting a battle. Because we're just kind of standing here blow, trying to blow up a tower. It'll change soon enough, though. Uh, where are they? Well, you can see here, you can see that they've got these zones of where they can shoot. We want to avoid those zones. Because those zones are what does us the damage. So what troops do they have? They've got a lot of melee troops. They've got a few shooting troops. Not a huge amount, though. They've got some handgunners there. Some handgunners there. That is something that looks very interesting for me, though. This is why. So now we've got that tower down. Yep, that tower's gone. This tower's still here. It'll be shooting at that general there. No Let's move this guy. Mm. It's difficult when there are so many people. So many around. What we're going to do for now is we're going to start hitting some of these ranged troops with our siege artillery. Just to try and take them out. The ranged troops are our biggest problem at the moment. Avoid most of that. We want them to keep having a nice big blob of guys, though. Big blobs are great for what we have in store for them. Light wizard. Let's see. Yes, quickly. Find the enemy. Go. We want to try and find somewhere where we can't really be hit as well. Once we can cast this, we do. And that is why it's good to have a nice blob. Oh, Jesus. Now he's getting his ass kicked. So we'll get him out of there a bit. Ooh. Look at that damage. You can see the kills racking up on him there. That's nice. 216 kills. He is getting shot to hell right now, which is not what we want. Now, let's see if we can quickly zoom out here and see where the zone is for the artillery. Because what we'll do now is Carl Franz, who has a healing potion, is going to go stand in that. It's not going to 100% just stand there, though. We are uh, but also uh, let's see. Where's that zone? Uh, so you'll be shot at by guys on the walls as well. We don't really want that. Just want him to get shot at by their artillery. Artillery is doing a good job there, but I'm thinking they might be better spent on these handgunners here for the moment. These missiles are not going where I want them to. Yeah, definitely not going where I want them to. We want them to be going at Carl Franz. He's prepared. He's covered in blood as well, so... Uh, 
you can see, we've got a lot of artillery smashing around Carl now. Just exactly what we want it to do, but that's still going for our mortars, so we're going to have to move them out. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, that, that tower is shooting at him, but it's really not doing any damage to him. Alright, that's alright. The health storm's now firing at them. So let's see if we can bring these guys back a bit. He might take a little bit of damage now, but that's all right. So it's, as you can see, what we're doing here is wasting their ammo. So they've got, yeah, another 18 shots left. They've still got 15, 14. As they futilely attempt to destroy our two leaders. Getting my mage over there would be difficult at the moment, so I'm not going to be doing that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Handgunners, we're going to try and hit these back handgunners. Oh, we don't really need to hit those ones. Oh, let's hit these crossbowmen over here instead. So we just want to get rid of as many of the ranged attackers as possible. Uh, keep an eye on their health as well, just in case. They might cop like a bunch of lucky hits and he'll suddenly go down. Our mortars are firing still. They're not doing a great deal of damage though. We might have to rely on all of our missile troops to really do the damage. Oh, that one's a bit better. Yeah, oh, that's there, there. Making a bit of damage there, so that's... Re-aim a little bit. Oh, come on, I didn't tell you to keep firing at them. I told you to fire at these guys now. I mean, it's fine if they're still damaging other units, but they'll be out of ammo soon. Oh, what are these guys doing with their ammo? Getting pretty low now. And my artillery is pretty much completely depleted. But that's fine too. The good thing is there is not a lot of zones here where I can't just freely walk now. So, yeah, he's taken a fair bit of a pounding, but he's certainly getting the job done as well. Ah, uh, good. So they're moving. So if they actually, yep, see so now they, they're no longer actually controlling that tower, so we can send our friendly little wizard this way. The amount of damage those archers will do should be relatively negligible now. Now what we want to do is plop another one of these right in the middle of all, all of this. Just like that. Let's see what we do this time. Oh, yep. It just wanders around, killing randomly. Uh, not anywhere near as much, unfortunately, but still. It's okay. Did, still did a fair bit of damage to at least one unit. The more kills, the more you can see our little bar goes further and further that way. The good thing about that little bar is things like ammo... As you can see, they've run out of it. Is also included in that bar. And now that they've got much less of it, we're much closer to winning. So, because one of the things that happens is you get the army loss penalty. The army loss penalty means you've lost a st 
It's lost a certain amount of strength compared to your enemies. And now you can't maintain your forces. So what we're doing at the moment is as much damage as possible to make that happen. Whoa, jeez, that's just, that's wrecking them this time. Whew, yes. Oh, we're up to 558. We broke three units there. <laughs> yeah, nice. So this is the kind of thing you can do. You don't have to do it. Um, a lot of people don't like doing it. I'm not one of those people, obviously. Oh, he's end up there. It's... I basically am here to win this. I'm not planning on doing things honorably why worry about honor you care about honor if you win or lose I plan on winning so bugger honor now they don't have any ranged troops on this section at the moment which means my archers who should eventually make their way out of this giant blob here will come forth I know that seems a little overpowered that banishment be able to look at 17 actual um, mana cost that is so that's actually a very expensive spell and um, does a lot of damage but honestly if he was a fire mage I reckon I'd be oh, I'd have done even more damage by now with him because that takes uh, using firestorm I think it's called uses a bit less mana and probably kills things a bit more efficiently so uh, soon I'll be able to I'm just I'm gonna and I'll end up pulling a lot of these troops out of the out of the danger zone there so we don't want to end up with these guys in there and we don't really want to end up with our normal archers in there either. And so what we do here is we pull these guys out and we put them further over this way. To hopefully get them out of that red zone as well. Then we can, because he's actually starting to take a half decent amount of damage. Okay, yep, let's pull him out. Should be right. We bring him back over this way. That, that tower will no longer be able to see anything to shoot at. Okay, do I want to go for that blob? Or Now, the other thing you can do is, because if you go like this, you can see I can't actually target things on a wall with my spell. However, there's a couple of little tricks to that. You can come like here if I cast it there, for example, it would damage anything on the wall. So I could put it there, and it would still damage that, but it would still be moving around, and it kind of would get kicked out of being within the confines of the wall as such. Well, they've moved stuff, and they're bogged down there, so I'll put it there. I was going to pop it under here, near the gate, but, oh well. There we go, victory is now in our grasp, just, and that's mostly because of how much damage that this spell has been doing. Yeah, 750 kills. I've still got 17 power reserves, so I'll still be able to choose it at least once. 750 means, when we look at their actual enemy troop count, they started with 2,600. Now they're down to 1736, and he's done most of that damage by himself. This is why mages are so good in sieges. Okay, well, what they've also managed to do here, they've put the handgunners on the walls. That should look dangerous. It doesn't to me, though, because they're facing the wrong direction. You can see here they're actually facing inwards, not outwards. Which means, that they, if I come up here with archers and shoot over the wall at them, they won't even, they, they won't even start shooting at me. And to prove that I'm right on that, let's take these three units here. 
Yeah, these three, we'll t put them into a control group. Oh, he's still in the place of the tower. We don't want to do that. We'll just let his magic sit there and recharge until he's got his enough to cast again, if we need him to. Now, so these guys, these guys can shoot. These guys can't. Which is fine. So, what I might do is, first thing I'll do is I'll target the little unit. Just see if I can wipe them out. Yeah, I've got a nice arcing shot going in there. So that should sort them out pretty quickly. They're going to break. Or oh, maybe not. No, they've still got one left. Okay. So basically, we'll just move up a little further. And yep, they're not shooting at me. So we'll just use arcing shots straight over the wall. Right into them. Not doing particularly well, probably because of the angle I'm at. Let's move them at this angle a bit. Alright. Yeah, that should be better. There we go, you can see they're uh, dropping quite quickly now. I don't have to do this at this speed, I can slow it down, but there's not much point. Um, there's nothing too exciting, there's no special moving maneuvers I need to make in this battle at the moment. So they're broken there, basically no longer a threat. So let's move over this way. Because they, oh no, they've moved them now. Where are they? Ah, uh, they had their nice little arches there. Oh, there's their crossbowmen. So, b again, because they've got a, you know, you can see their little red pattern there of where they're going to shoot. So what we'll do is we'll move back down here like so. Outside of that little red pattern. And we'll shoot at them over the wall. Yep, there we go. Now, the wall will actually will take absorb some of this damage. But we're still going to do a fair bit of damage. And they're not going to do anything to us. They can't. They can't shoot at us. Nothing. I mean, the other way you can actually do it is you can stand... Like, if I'd actually destroyed that tower, I'd stand here and shoot straight along. I can't quite do that, though. So... It's alright, though. Alright, that's another threat eliminated. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, let's hit these Outriders here. Uh, outriders are inside the wall, but that's okay. We'll just arc straight over the top, and we'll destroy them too. That shouldn't be too big a deal. Uh, yep. And over we go. Straight down into them. Right, we can move our wizard up again, since we've got... 19 magic. Fire! And these guys wander into the zone just at the perfect time, so I get some of them as well. <laughs> Lots of kills. Balance of power still, st still continues to move in my favour. And friendly, friendly enough, these handgunners have wandered into our zone of fire as well, so we may as well shoot them. Not many of them there, but that's that's okay. So, for example, from here, you don't want to shoot at these close-in units. Because you're not really going to hit them. You're just going to hit the walls. And that's just a waste of your ammo. Uh, let's have a look what we've got. I'll give you a demonstration of the way the under here works. So we go under here and we go, yep, I want to hit the, this point. So you can see that there, there, can't do it here, I can. So I'm technically casting it on the ground there. But 
Once I do the cast, it appears on the ground and then destroys the units on top of the wall. So that one was a bit wasted. But the vortexes a lot of the time are um, when you do that, I've found. Um, there's a few of the spells that are actually pretty good at doing it. Um, Plague's pretty good at doing it. Because um, it doesn't, it says it's supposed to be a moving template, but I don't think it really moves. Okay, let's see, what do we have within range? So, where's our range? So, our range, we've got, we've got halberdiers, there's some swordsmen. We don't want to hit the close in ones. Let's go for those halberdiers. We should be able to get some good volleys on them. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Now the unit's about to break. Now because we're firing down range at them, what we can do is take this one unit and get them to fire that way. I might take these other two, face them this way so that we're firing down range that way. Make, try and make sure we're outside of that though. That's not really working out. So let's move them up a bit further. They've run out of ammo. That's to be expected. And we will shoot downrange at those halberdiers there until they're out of ammo as well. As suspected, that did not take very long for them to run out of ammo, but it also does quite a few casualties to those uh, halberdiers. And they're all out of range. So they've done, yep, yeah, every unit's done over 100 kills. So they've done their part in the battle. They can now go away and hide in the forest. And we've got another unit of two. Um, we'll turn them into a control group as well. Basically, from here, what we do is this until we've gone through all of these crossbowmen as well. And probably by the time we're done with the crossbowmen, we'll have, uh, we'll have the army loss penalty and we'll be able to take the city. So as you can see, these guys are like fairly weak units. These guys are the like the mortar crews and the hell blaster crews. There's no real point at shooting at them um, because they're out of ammo. They've pretty much used up their uh, army strength anyway. So uh, let's let's see if we can take out these halberdiers. Not too bad a volley there. Uh, they're buggering off out of range. So not bad. We took about took them down to about half health. Uh, yep. Move these guys around. We'll go for these halberdiers. Uh, not really hitting them particularly well though. Maybe we'll go for these swordsmen. Might be able to get a better result. Yeah, that's good. If we can get them to run, just like so. Let's uh, oh, let's hit these great swords. Great swords are worth a fair bit. They're they're a pretty tough unit. Uh, our second unit doesn't really want to shoot too much there. Come on. Sometimes it does take a little bit of convincing to keep them going. Yeah, so these guys, you can see, they've got like quite heavy armour being no at 95, so they can take a bit more of a, a pounding. I really should be moving these uh, archers out of uh, Carl Franz's uh, army now and just trying to swap them for those crossbowmen. Crossbowmen have a longer range and just more damage and just generally better. Come on, they're in range, get th get them dead. Uh, from this angle I'm probably hitting the, the crenellations a bit, which are these pointy uppy bits. For those that don't know the anatomy of a castle that well. Uh, yeah, they're going down pretty well. Mm, 
Okay. Quite a bit of strength gone from there. Let's turn them around and we'll go back to shooting this direction, I think. Try and get some of these other ones out. Uh, that's not quite, quite working there. If these bigger units come down, that'll be good. So where are we up to? Uh, yeah, they've still got just over a thousand troops. They have lots more troops than them, so... They're not going to do well overall. Ooh, great swords. Yep, we shoot at them. You've got a clear shot on great swords. You should always take it because they deserve to die. Because they'll do some killing. And I don't really have a proper view on them though. That's because they're moving. So we'll take out some swordsmen instead. It's still a worthy target. Every dead man helps. We're almost out of ammo already, 130, 130. Yeah, they've done actually quite well as well. So, say goodbye. Off that way you guys go. Let's get our next group forward. It's time, crossbowmen. So, once I've whittled down a lot of the units and done lots of damage like this, then we can charge at the walls with our massive horde of swordsmen and halberdiers and spearmen and everything like that. If the army loss penalty doesn't come into it. If. Um, it's a good chance it will. Now they're doing a bit of reform. Oops, we need to fix that. We don't want them just randomly shooting at whatever they feel like. They've got to shoot at what I want them to. Pick our target. Take them down. Oh dears, great swords have gone up there. Where's... I want to see if I can take out this hero. They're generally worth a bit when it comes to uh, army loss penalties. He's a large target at the moment because he's on his horse, so that helps. Yeah, if we can get that volley to hit, damn it. No. That's fine. No, stop, guys. No. Don't worry about him now. He'll come back. What do we have? We have. Ooh, goody great swords. Excellent. Goody goody gum chops. We'll hit the great swords with everything we've got. Yeah, they're doing they're doing a pretty a much better job than the archers were at least. Ugh. Okay, so they're on their they're on the run now. They're already weakened. What are those great swords gonna do? They'd be a good target. Maybe for now we'll hit these halberdiers here. So he's still got another group of three to go. Ah, never mind. There's that army loss penalty I was talking about. And that's it. We've won! Uh, because we're taking the castle and they're all in the castle, they don't get to uh, retreat or anything. There you go, that's how an inferior force can take a castle from a superior force.
So if all we had was a bunch of missile troops, uh, car friends, the wizard, and some artillery, ah, that, that would have been it. No worries at all. Uh, we're just going to occupy Nuln. We'll have the option to probably give it back to the Elector. No? Okay. No, we didn't even have the option to. That's fine. Get rid of the horses. Yes, my lord. Okay. Now, we're going to we move must. him up here a bit further. And get him replenishing. He's still at full strength. That's good. Kislev, I'm not going to upgrade you yet. You've already got walls. I will upgrade that though. To negate some more of the of that. Okay. Can't get any more of them yet. Yeah, we're lacking a little bit of fundage. That's okay. So they've got walls there, you can tell because they've got that large garrison. Um, they don't have walls there. That won't be a problem. Uh, let's give skill points to our faithful leaders. He can have an I Iron dis Disciplinarian. I am Prince and Emperor. The Prince and Emperor, as he calls himself. Uh, we're going to go through his red line now. Uh, specifically, we're going to go through Imperial Gunnery. So we want three points in that, then three points in Pistol Corps. Because Pistol Corps will increase my all my missile damage for all my uh, various uh, missile infantry and that sort of thing. Whereas that will increase damage for all of my artillery. Two of my mainstays. Then um, after that, I'll probably go uh, Rally, Sharpshooter, and Artillery Master for when they're at high chevrons. Because as they get better, more chevrons, they get better. I'll show you that in a sec as well, because I don't think I've talked about that yet. Uh, except at level 16, we're going to get him Death Claw, so he's on his griffin. So the chevrons are these little thingies here. So... For example, let's see. So these guys are rank 3, uh, ammunition 22, range 120, damage th missile damage 30. These guys are rank 5, so ammunition 22, range 120, missile damage 32. And same sorts of things for things like your swordsmen. They get more melee defense, more melee attack, all of that sort of stuff. So basically, as those chevrons go up, your units get better. So it's good to keep the same units for a long period of time because they become pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I have heart, I can't afford that yet. Let's see what Hans Frankenwerter will do. I'm still not going to attack Helgart. I'm just going to let them... Cold through, and um, I'm still going to try and ambush them. It's not as big an army anymore, but that's okay. So a lot of the time, what will happen now is no one will probably want to get get peace with me because I've pretty much defeated their everything of theirs. But I've decided I'm not going to do that in this case. Because I'm a jerk. They've only got the two small settlements now, so I may as well just take them. And that'd be the end of Nuln. I don't really need their um, their lords or anything like that. They're not uh, legendary. Yep, here I am. You want a peace treaty. I'm sorry. You seceded? War began, now you're going to die. So for a while there was a, essentially a fairly cheesy option you could do. Uh, and you'd get a fair bit of more of the fealty um, from it. Whereas you could, basically you take one of their cities and then they'll offer to, then you can, one of the things you can do is give it back to them. Uh, and that'll put their fealty up. 
It's great. Nothing wrong with it. Except that you could just keep doing it over and over again. And they'd just go, mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, yep, 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 mm -hmm, yep. And then they'll just confederate with you. So it was, yeah, cheesy to say the least. But for now, let's continue on. Raise your weapons, not so, in my name. Yeah, they've got the basically nothing to oppose us with. Oh, look, there's beastmen here. The okay, we'll pop him right at the edge of that red zone. Um, oh. All right, we can. So we are getting the reinforcements. Uh, it's a much smaller battle than last time. I still don't want to auto resolve it because even with that small amount of difference in balance of power that can be enough to wipe out a unit or two so and i don't want to do that now difference in this time and last time is we're not going to be bothering with uh wasting their artillery ammunition because it's just mortars and it'll probably sort of happen anyway so I'm not going to do this as crazily as last time. Really didn't need those reinforcements, but whatever. Again, we'll get these guys out of range of the tower. It's a bit easier because we've only got one tower to worry about this time. And a lot less troops that we've got to worry about in the actual city. So all of those guys pile up over there where they can pick their nose. Carl Franz goes there. He's going to go running up as well. We'll do the whole toggle their fire at will so they don't do that. All right, let's go. Fire! Now we'll run him up this way. Oh, actually, no, we won't because that's running right into the teeth of guns. This is why it's a good idea to look at that kind of stuff. So we'll just uh, run him over here a bit. Alright. And again, we'll pile all these guys up together. Hopefully out of the Ark of Fire. Free Company sucks. That'll all do that. And we'll go back here and we'll go do -do just to make sure everyone else is also on the same page. Oh, must have missed them. That's fine. Must have missed them as well. That's fine. So where can this tower shoot to? Okay, we might be a bit too far over still. So... <laughs> Jeez, I'm certainly making this hard on myself, aren't I? Uh, okay, he's not actually in range of that tower. Move him over there. So, yeah, so that's tanking that tower and that tower. Um, yeah, so we're all good here. We're at 47%. A nice little blob over here to destroy. Maybe. Unless they manage to move enough. Ooh, yeah. Gonna cop some damage from that. Hurry up. Hmm. All right, we'll pop this in the middle of these halberdiers, I think. He's not going to do anywhere near as much damage as normal. Or as he would have. But that's okay. Yeah, we're going to move him over here a bit further. For reasons that will become apparent. Oh, yeah, that's actually doing quite a good amount of damage. I like that. Good work. 
There we go. Shoo. Where is Gillis? Oh, 93? That's not bad. Uh, so he's getting hit with the occasional one at the moment. Uh, okay, we need to move him just a little bit further to the right, I think. There we go. Now they're hitting their own tower. Always fun. <laughs> okay. Now. Now then. Then now. Mortars. Once we get things like your Hellblaster volley guns, this is a lot crazier. Charging. Yeah, really go really well right there. Okay. Let's hit these crossbowmen instead. They're taking a bit of damage. Let's see if we can hit these crossbowmen. Okay. Uh, it's not doing that great. They've done fourteen percent damage to their own tower, that's good. Alright, let's move him this way a bit. Try and put him in range of dumping that on top of him there. I don't think you'll be able to. We'll have to move a bit further around this way. Sometimes if you're really good with getting their artillery to do things, you can actually get them to hit their own units on the walls and things like that. It's quite quite amusing, I think. I okay, let's see. You serve Hish? Okay. Wondering, Hish is a, the name of one of the uh, Winds of Magic. Vanish. Uh, let's see how much damage we'll do to Outriders. Mm, pretty underwhelming, to be honest. Yeah, pretty underwhelmed with that one. Uh, to kill 11 of them, 7 of them. Uh, could have been worse. I heard horns. How's he doing with his uh, yeah, He's not even firing at anything anymore. I don't know what those horns were blaring for. Oh, that's good. They've got nobody manning that tower now, so... Okay, so there. They're pretty screwed, so we're going to start hitting these hand gunners. Light wizard. Yeah, plop it uh, at the front of these halberdiers here this time. So even if it goes towards the wall, it'll bounce backwards. So. There we go, lovely. Oh, yeah. Could have done more damage, but still. Took out about half of them or so. What are they doing? Looks like we've got swordsmen coming out at us. Maybe? No? Okay, changed his mind. Right there. Just about destroyed as well. Alright, time to gather up our archers, I think. 
Oh, that tower is back being, has been activated again. That's a bit of a bummer. That's alright. Move our archers in, and we are going to try and take out the remainder of the small amount of uh, missile troops they've got. My mortars have been nicely destroying for me. I will aim at some of those crossbowmen as well. Uh, so we're, we're waiting for the charges to come up there. More magic means more banishing. I'm quite addicted to trying to destroy entire garrisons with as little loss on my part as possible. They've done a very good job, those mortars. Ah, pretty much cleared the walls. Get them in position. And we can start firing over the walls at these uh, outriders. So when it comes to the various types of ways of getting around the your sieges empire kind of they 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 do well to say the least what? is that somebody actually shooting at me there no oh. no oh. keep firing assholes it looks like we're being fired at by... Oh yeah, there's 29 handgunners there on the walls, okay. That's alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two furthest here, reposition them, and we'll get them firing down the line. Let's get rid of that other unit of outriders. The reason for targeting the Outriders is just simply they're worth more um, when it comes to balance of power than uh, things like your Halberdiers and that sort of stuff. So Just because they're a higher tier unit. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so what do we've got here? We've got Outriders, in Retreat, Shattered, somebody else retreating, that's good. Swordsmen, they're good to shoot uh, when they're facing away from you like that. And they're going to melt like butter because they've already taken a lot of damage. So when they're facing towards you, they've got the uh, bronze shield, which lets them absorb a bit of this. Don't want them doing that. Yes, sir. Let's go back to those outriders, I think. But all of one unit actually selected there. That's very well done. Everyone fire! Never mind, they've shattered. We don't need them to fire now. Yes, oh, yeah, you can use your banishment again. I'm going to use it just here. Light is might. Do like my magic. Right, oh, let's uh, let's hit these halberdiers up here. Hopefully, maybe, no. 
Maybe not. In fact, some of the units are struggling with it. That's okay. That's actually a good idea. We'll go further, try and get a better arc. on with these guys now. Yeah, they're killing a few. Killing a few. <sighs> lovely coffee. Lovely, lovely. Okay, pull them back a bit and realign them. So that we can try and hit these halberdiers here. Oh, well, let's, let's fast forward this because there's probably not much point in me going slow, so slowly now. Get the front on there. He can do another banishment. We're going to do for a bit of an underwaller here. So we can do as much damage as possible to these two units. Oh, yep, that, that, that did a decent job. Where is he at? 197 kills, yep, doing all right. Doing okay. Oh, oop, they're copping a bit of a flogging from the tower. Oh, the mortars come into play. Oh. Was not expecting that to happen. Uh, don't, don't want to get hit with the mortar. That's a bastard of a thing. And there's our army loss penalty. Once more. Lovely. Now, the, the main uh, general in charge of the battle uh, and his army, well, him mostly, gets the most uh, experience from these battles. So, which is to be expected. But that's another Nuln city, or Wisenberg, Wisenland. Uh, in my hands now, that's good. We'll just occupy it once more. And next turn we're gonna take that. We don't need that. Now that's really good because it's artillery for all armies. It just, just affects everyone. <gasps> oh, and it allows me to recruit Hellstorms. So what I want is two Hellstorm batteries. Is it time? And yes, yeah, so I'm getting rid of my knights so that I can have Hellstorms. Hellstorms are just amazing. What does the Emperor Absolutely what amazing. So next turn, it is Wissenberg's turn to get a curb stomping. Um, but... That's really it for uh, this episode. So we've gone through uh, essentially how to do a siege. Uh, some races do it a bit differently. So like if you're playing Vampire Counts, for example, or vam yeah, Vampire Counts, not Vampire Coast, uh, you're not going to have any ranged. Uh, so you want to get as much out of your magic as possible. Uh, I don't think you actually have artillery either, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I can't think of any artillery. So you're going to take casualties. Um, but that's okay. Uh, it's, it's actually not that big of a deal for uh, vampires to deal with uh, casualties. Um, dwarves, for example, you do not have any magic. So that's part of the uh, a siege you're not going to have to concern yourself with. Uh, but yeah. So that is sieging in a nutshell. So... If you've uh, liked this, then please like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And uh, until next time, I'm still going to be continuing this campaign. Um, the only difference probably is there's, it's pretty much the basics now run through. Uh, so it's going to just be more of a let's play from this point on. Um, Okay, I still can't get golden order. Uh, while I'm here, we'll quickly do our level up. 
He's level 14 now. Did not get a level up. Uh, we're not going to do that at this point. It's only got 1,800 gold. All right. Yep. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it's been uh, informative. Ciao for now.